Ladies and gentlemen, our Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Man of the Year for 2022, Director of the University of Colorado Health Blood Disorders and Cell Therapy Center at the Anschutz Medical Campus in Denver, Colorado, Dr. Clay Smith. When I was approached about this tribute from the LLS, I immediately thought of a patient I wanted to dedicate this honor to, Mary Jo Darty. During her time as my patient, she showed us all how it's possible to continue living life to the max. During her six-year cancer journey, while continuing to hike, swim, ski, and mountain bike, Mary Jo Doherty became an active fundraiser for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. She was named the 2017 LLS Woman of the Year for raising $239,000, shattering previous records for the Rocky Mountain region. Six years that Mary Jo was treated for multiple myeloma, she continued to live her life the way she wanted. She always said yes to adventure, yes to family and friends. She even said yes when I asked her to marry me in November of 91. And she always expressed without words, yes to life. That's why the plaque on the bench at the Botanic Garden says, live in the light, because that's what Mary Jo did. After Mary Jo's passing in October of 2019, her husband, Mike Rourke, established the Mary Jo Doherty Endowed Fund for Multiple Myeloma Research at the University of Colorado CU Cancer Center. When Dr. Smith first met Mary Jo Doherty, he was shocked to discover that the cancer had so aggressively attacked her spine that she had to have several vertebrae fused before she could undergo stem cell harvesting, followed by chemotherapy. She would get her treatments and then go windsurfing, hella skiing, or some other great adventure. At first, I would tell her, Mary Jo, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. And she would just smile at me and then go off to her next adventure. She'd then come back, show me her picture. And in those pictures, she was always smiling ear to ear. She taught me a very important lesson about being a doctor, that just to live a long life is not enough for many people. They want to live well. Following her initial diagnosis, Mary Jo had temporary successes with stem cell transplant, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and other treatments, but inevitably experienced recurrence of the cancer. She was such a warm and caring person. People couldn't say no to her. You just couldn't not like her. When it was obvious there was nothing more that today's medicine could do for her, Mike and I were in tears and, and pretty much a mess. Just to show you what an amazing woman Mary Jo was, she said, you guys will be okay. I'll take care of everything. And I don't even know how she got out of bed, but she did. And she gave me a hug that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Even at the very end, she was the strongest person in the room. And she was looking after her husband and her doctor and everybody around her. I'm Clifford Smith, Clay's brother. And I fully support him as the LLS man of the year. After a routine blood test in November of 2020, I myself was diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CLL. One day I was an avid mountain biker, hiker, swimmer, skier, much like Mary Jo, and the next day I had cancer. Fortunately, after a year of this simple daily oral medication that I take, my white blood cell count is back to normal, and I'm back to doing the things I love. I'm extremely grateful to the doctors, researchers, scientists, people like Mary Jo Doherty, Mike Rourke, my older brother, and donors like you who make it possible for people like me and Mary Jo to say yes to life. We encourage you to say yes to the LLS and yes to life for all those struggling with leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma by donating generously to Dr. Clay Smith's 2022 Man of the Year campaign.